Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Mobile Application Tester. We are getting started with our chapter 5 which is the last chapter of this particular tutorial series and it's called as automating the test executions and this is specific to mobile <clears throat> application testing. As a part of this particular chapter, you will be covering several topics under this, that is 5.1 automation approaches, 5.2 automation methods, 5.3 automation uh, test tool evaluations, and 5.4 approaches for setting up an automation test lab for mobile application testing. As a part of this tutorial, we are getting started with 5.1, which is to talk about the automation approaches. The very first thing we're talking about is automation approaches, what exactly it is meant about and what exactly are the common test approaches which can be used specifically for mobile application testing. Now there are various automation approaches and frameworks which exist that can be used for uh, used in mobile application testing. The choice of approach will partially be determined by the type of application as well. So you need to very first understand that the type of application do you contribute as a factor in order to decide whether a factor or approach will be used for automation or not. In very general, there are two common test automation approaches which are used called as user agent based testing and device-based testing. So of course, when it comes to user agent-based testing, it utilizes the user agent identifier string sent by the browser to spoof a particular browser on a particular device. Now this approach can be used for executing mobile-based applications and, uh, sorry, mobile web applications and device-based testing on the other hand involves running the application under test directly on the device. Now this approach can be used for all types of mobile applications. Now very common understanding what you derive from these two comparison of the approaches is one that when it comes to a web-based application within a mobile which is like you know a browser-based appli mobile application you can make use of user agent based testing where a user is connected to a particular agent and trying to retrieve the information through that you know browser interface but when it comes to device based it's a directly an app which is installed on the app which is called as the native applications and they are installed on the device directly and you can directly interact with the apps and test them so these two uh, specific and uh, you know uh, standard approaches can be very well utilized for automating the mobile based testing now the application type can also be determined, uh, also determine the test automation framework that would be suitable for that application. Mobile, web can be tested using the usual web application automation tools on the desktop, whilst the native apps might need some specific tools. Now platform providers may also provide automation tools dedicated for the platform. Now platform providers is like you know Android and the iOS platforms can certainly have great tools which can help you to do the same job. But as we understood that one of the factor is to determine the, the approaches is the type of application. Here the type of application could be your web based application or native or it can be hybrid as well. If it is a browser-based or web-based application, then you make use of user agent, and that would certainly be adding a great, uh, you know, interface to you. And at the same time, this can be run from a desktop interface as well, or desktop-based tools, which generally go on the browser. It's the matter of the URL which you are using. So, for example, if you talk about Facebook.com, then you use Facebook.com, but for mobile application, you say m.facebook.com. So you can very well test it with your ordinary testing automation tools, which can run these interactions. But when it comes to native, you have some standard uh, tools available to do the same thing. Adding furthermore to the automation approaches, automation approaches used for conventional applications are often applicable to mobile applications as well. Now these include capture and playback, data driven, keyword driven, and behavior driven test. So it's not restricted that mobile applications cannot use the frameworks which are generally key, generally used in the other uh, platform, other applications as well. Uh, yes, you can certainly make use of capture and playback which is recording and replay tools. And you do have data driven which is to parameterize a particular set of uh, instructions and input values with multiple set of data and run it for 
several other iterations. And when it comes to keyword driven, it's more of driving a test based on certain keywords and running only those tests which are required to run out of a test bed or the test pool. Also, behavior-driven developments and testing can also be organized and conducted just like any other application. Now, talking about the key capabilities that a mobile application testing framework should typically include. Of course, we do understand mobile is a different platform and a desktop application or a web-based ordinary application is a different platform. Uh, application altogether. So there should be some specifications which need to be included when creating these frameworks for mobile application testing. And they include object identification because their objects would be different than an ordinary application. Object operations could also be different because a touch interface, how does it really behave, orientation or connectivity type response and lot many other things. The test reports being generated uh, could be again one of the things to be included within the framework so that the same log or same output report can be analyzed. Application programming interface and extendable capabilities so APIs are different for them. So how will you interact with this uh, mobile based uh, APIs which are you know doing the job at the back end. Adequate documentation which is required to understand the framework. Integrations with other tools if required any then how will you do that? If there are capabilities you will have the necessary add-ins to get them connected so that you can minimize your efforts in maintenance of the data while working on multiple tools. And also independent of test development practice because the testing has to be different than the development practices because you are always an independent tester. Don't forget that independent testing helps you to find different effects than the one which you generally get. Or independent testers can find different defects and be biased to prove that the system doesn't work. So uh, the basic protocols comes from the testing point of view and you really don't have to be uh, you know, driven uh, something just like the way you did it for the uh, ordinary applications. You just have to add a little bit of touch from the mobile application specifications and try to put them in place so that your frameworks are more capable to get the output or necessary results while, while testing the mobile applications. So that was all from the very first tutorial of this particular chapter. We'll be getting back to you with the next one. And should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.